Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is the top five for the weekend of October 1st and 2nd. It's brought to you by adoramapics.com. That's where I make those cool photo books and get some other prints made. So what a great weekend you guys have. Well, weekend, you know, we get more time for posting your images, but there were over 61 pages of images that you guys submitted or responses. It was great. A lot of awesome stuff in there uh, for the theme of round round was the theme and the new theme I'm just gonna start saying it now for October what's it gonna be eighth and ninth plus you know how it works um, so the new theme is gonna be think different I'll explain more about that later but those who know you know Apple and things like that that was the motto think different and um, yeah we'll get into that a little later so let's get into the winner from last week well it was JR photo 56 it was his old time photo from world it was a World War two old time photo and a reenactment uh, some really cool shots there last week but this one you guys voted on and one top well one voter is winning an Adorama picks book along with JR photo who is getting a Adorama picks book so really guys it, it really helps to vote um, because not only do you give yourself a chance to win something but a fellow photographer gets a chance to win a book from Adorama picks uh, so let's get into the top five right now from October 1st and 2nd so we have Dusty V I really loved this shot I mean there were so many shots for me to go through and that's why we have a pretty extensive critique section this week uh, for for the weekend section but what I love about well spider webs I like spider webs I don't particularly like spiders that much but look at the raindrops or whatever is on I mean most likely raindrops on the spider web the bokeh is so well done it's blown out in the background that's amazing the color is great um, it, it, just whatever the color is in the background is really adding to this image so it really really stands out and pops so that's why that is here so that's from Dusty V for the round theme then we have Shutter Twins who decided to shoot some uh, Winchester 45 Auto I don't know what this one is I don't know does anybody know why that's looking weird right there I don't know why that's looking weird right there but anyway, just interesting shots. I don't know if I like it more without other bullets here, or do I like it less? I, I'm not sure. I just love these type of images, and I know I say it week in and week out, but I love symmetry when I'm looking for images. Uh, but, you know, that's just me. But I thought this was a cool shot. I thought it was well composed, well done, and that's why it's up here from Shutter Twins. Now we've got Meg, Meg Bitten, 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 Bitten. Bitten, yeah, I think it's bitten. Not, I'm like, I'm gonna say this. It's very difficult for me to go through and pick images, and I know that I shouldn't only pick images based off of whether I think that they should be here or not. That's why in future posts, I'm gonna probably have Adam sub as a top five selector where he's going to select the top five and probably do a critique and then maybe I'll have somebody else do a top five as well so that it's not just me picking those images this is not an image that I particularly would have normally picked but going into the mindset that other people may think that this is a really great image image I thought I should put it in the top five uh, because I think it's it's well done uh, it's a very it, it's it's racy I mean we have a pregnant lady naked almost laying here on an old truck I hope she doesn't get tetanus uh, but it's an interesting shot it's a nice concept it was executed well um, a little pulled back muted on the colors but I wanted to put it here because I think people will appreciate it and that's why I put it here so let's move on we've got dunk dunk it now, Duncan posted a couple of images from the zoos, and there are a couple of uh, gorilla pictures. And I mean, I just I love these shots. I mean, we're very close to these these creatures, humans. I mean, they're not humans, but I still think that we came from there, and uh, the DNA is very, very close. And it's just amazing how smart and intelligent these animals are. Um, and it's just it, it's just amazing. So. I thought this was it, images of animals are very difficult like I've said in the past to to show emotion um, 
And I just think that they did it here. It's a great black and white shot. What's he thinking about? What's he looking at? Why is he sitting here? What's going on? Those are the things that you want an image to to convey to you. Or not con not convey, but make you think. What is going on in this image? Why is this? Wh what is he doing? You know, so that's why I like this. I picked it and I put it here. And then the last image here, which is from Bevlad, is just... A really well executed image now I didn't pick it just because it says I shoot raw in the background but that is one of the reasons why um, by the way Saturday coming up with a new I shoot raw shirt blind sale so that means uh, I'm gonna explain it later but blind uh, so look for that in the fro store how you can pre-order blindly without knowing what the shirt is but there's bonuses for doing that um, so yeah we've got the I shoot raw in the background I just thought it was well you know, another cool thing, you capture the, wa the round water drop, but you didn't just think about it as just the water drop. You went a step further and put I shoot raw in the background to try to get something reversed in the water drop. So that's what I liked about that. So that is your top five for October 1st and 2nd. Please vote down below so that one of these photographers can win a free uh, hardback book from Adorama Picks. And if you vote, you're giving yourself a chance to win a free book from Adorama Picks using the Facebook comment book box below. So let's get into the new theme. The new theme, which I said earlier for the October 8th and 9th, so you can shoot on the 8th and 9th, Friday, Saturday, but we can also allow you to shoot on Monday and Tuesday in case you can't shoot on the weekend, and you have until Thursday afternoon or Thursday night to post your images in the forum for people to, you know, or for me to go through or whoever's going to be picking the top five or everybody loves seeing them. So that's why they can go in the forum up until Thursday. And then I make the selections Thursday night or Friday morning. Um, when Here's some tips. There, there's information on how to upload your photos. That's in the forum. And... Um, when posting your images, if you post them on Flickr, please l make sure that they're public so that I can grab the image if I like it and use it for the top five. Uh, so be sure to put it up there at a pretty good resolution so that it can show up and, and people can see it full screen here. So the new theme is Think Different. Uh, it's in honor of Steve Jobs uh, passing away. Think Different. It's It's... You know, it's a difficult theme, but then it's also very, very open-ended because it's whatever you think. You know, what could I tell you for feedback about this? Um, maybe it's a twist on something that you normally would shoot, but you're thinking different, so you're going to try something a little on the different side. You know, it's very open-ended. It pretty much is you can, it's, it's pretty much like shoot whatever you want. But think about it before you do it. You know what? Here's something you could do. You could shoot one image and then think it differently for the next image. You know, maybe do that. Maybe shoot one and then think it, rethink it. How could you have done it differently and show those two type of shots? That's pretty interesting. It's a really interesting concept. So be sure to post those in the forum. Be sure to vote. Have fun. Great job this week. Let's have another great showing this weekend. And I wish you luck. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!